Hey friend, Graham here from RecordingRevolution.com and welcome back to our Recording a Song from Scratch mini-series. We are in part five of six and it's time to lay down some virtual instruments. We've already laid down some drum loops and customized them to fit our song. I played some bass guitar to match up with those drum loops. Last time I laid down some electric guitar direct into my interface through a virtual amp and then I recorded some acoustic guitar. So we're filling out the arrangement, which is cool. But what I like to do as a guitar player, when I've done about all I know to do there, I'll turn to some MIDI or some virtual instruments. And your software probably comes with at least one sampler or virtual instrument that you can play with. In Pro Tools First, which is the free software I'm using in this series, it includes a cool virtual instrument that I like called Expand, and Expand has pretty much any kind of sound you want. Here's the beautiful thing about virtual instruments. They can be anything you like. So if you know how to play piano, you better thank your mom and dad or whoever made you take lessons because now, my friend, you can record anything. You can record, obviously, piano, organ, synths, keys, but now you can also play bass parts and guitar parts and all kinds of stuff. Guys like Graham, who can't play piano worth anything, have to bang out some notes and then go fix them later in the software. So I'm gonna show you how to do that too. It's possible, so don't worry. But either way, Virtual instruments give you cool, cool opportunities. So in Pro Tools first, I'm gonna show you how to set up this track, how to work with MIDI a little bit. It's pretty easy. I've only got two parts in mind that I think will benefit from some virtual instruments, and we'll see if they fill out my arrangement. Let's jump in. All right, back inside my Pro Tools first session, uh, the first place I know I wanna add something is in verse two. In verse two, I have the guitars drop out and uh, it's just bass and drums. And I thought it'd be nice to add a little um, sort of electric piano thing going on that's really eerie and simple, but stereo, um, since everything else will be kind of mono. So here is where I'm at, the interlude going into the verse. That's where I want to add it. So what I'm going to do here in Pro Tools is create a new track. And this time, instead of doing an audio track, which we've been doing so far for all the instruments, we're going to look for a instrument track. And specifically, I'm going to go stereo here because I do want this track to be stereo. And you'll see why in a minute. Come over here, give it a name. E piano. And then I'm going to grab the instrument plugin called Expand. Now I'm going to record enable this track. And then here I have a keyboard controller. This is an M Audio Axiom Air 32 Mini. And this is as simple and as cheap as it gets. This is only uh, two octaves, um, or maybe it's three. I can't count. I'm not a piano person. You tell me how many octaves it is. And it plugs in USB to my computer. And if the track is enabled and the plugin is up, I can hit a button and we've got something. Okay, that's a little ridiculous. That patch is called Beneath the Waves. But what I'm going to do here is come up under the presets and look for the type of instrument I want. And you can see they've got pads and poly synths and even percussion. But I want to go to electronic pianos, e-pianos. And there's a really cool one here, a Mark II with tremolo on it. Really, really like that. So what I'm going to do is come here to the interlude of my song, back it up a little bit, and I'm going to record a little bit of this into verse 2. All right, so not perfect, but the beautiful thing is we've now created MIDI data. And if you look in Pro Tools, you can see the sort of notes are there. So what I'm gonna do is double click this 
This opens up sort of a piano roll MIDI editor. And you could really go to town and quantize the heck out of this. I just want to fix a couple of bad notes here. Let me take a listen back. that. The cool thing about MIDI data is you can even adjust the velocity. Let's say I didn't hit a note as hard as I wanted to, like this little note here. Like I could bring that up just a little bit. It's a little bit louder. And then we can even add a note here, hold option, copy that, and drag it over a little bit. Very, very cool. Now let's go to the second place where I need a virtual instrument, and that is chorus two. In chorus two, I like to change it up from the first chorus. In the first one is just the three guitars and bass and drums. Um, so let's add some kind of dirty organ here to make Chorus 2 really, really pop. I'm going to go back here, unrecord enable this track. I'm going to go back up and create a new track. Going to stereo, instrument track. I'm going to call this organ. I'm going to record enable that. I'm going to Option click and drag expand over. So now I have a copy of that instrument, but I need to find a different patch now. So I'm going to go back up here to the presets, drop down to organs. Now there are a lot of cool organs, right? Uh, there's one I was playing with, had a cool name, Kick Me. Now we're in business. All right, so what I want to do is get here to the chorus. I'm going to show you. I can't really play this because my fingers just don't move fast enough, and this is the slowest, easiest song on planet Earth. It just shows how bad I am. So it might give you hope if you're not a keyboard player. And what I'm going to do is back up here to the pre-chorus and get ready to play this song. And I'm going to play what I can play, and then I'll show you how I can fix it in Pro Tools. The first thing I need to do before I forget is raise up the octave of this keyboard because I need this to be a little bit higher. So I don't know what to play there. So what I'm going to do is double click the MIDI here. First thing I'm going to do is trim these back a little bit. I came in just a hair early because I was so nervous. Maybe now I should be a little bit tighter with the guitars. So here is where I don't know what I'm doing. That note should have probably been there. This note shouldn't be held out, should probably move to something. Something like that, right? All right, so let's hide this. Trim this back. Let's option click to drag a copy of this MIDI data. Let's see if we can line this up so it repeats nicely. Nice. 
nice. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. Now we got a texture piece. So you see how easy it is to lay down some parts, just a couple of chords. It can be one note you can move around. And if you make a mistake, you have the ability to go back into the MIDI editor. And this is possible in just about every piece of major software out there these days. Move the notes around, change the velocity, which is how loud or how hard you hit the key. You can even go back and change the instrument later, of course, if it's not quite the right sound. And you get that flexibility to add a layer of um, intrigue and enhance the arrangement all for free with a free little instrument plugin, even if you don't play any other instruments. It's a great tool, these virtual instrument plugins like Expand and other ones. It's a great tool for the home studio user to be able to really add some polish to their arrangements. Now we have one more video to go. We're gonna record vocals on the next video. You don't wanna miss this. It's really, really important, obviously, how to do it right. I'm gonna show you how to do that with budget gear in your home studio. But before you go, I wanna make sure you download the companion guide for these videos. It's called My Six Steps to a Radio Ready Song. It is a simple PDF. It's, a, it's an easy read, but it really walks you through step by step what you need to do to get a song that sounds so good it could be played on the radio, which is kind of my benchmark. Whether you're on radio or radio exists in 10 years or not, doesn't really matter. The point is we want songs that sound so good, we're so proud of them, we can share them with the world. And this guide walks you through every aspect of making music, not just including the recording, but everything from the songwriting and arranging to mixing, mastering, all that stuff. This guide walks you through every step you need to know. And it's all available for free at RadioReadyGuide.com. Put the link here in the video and in the description box. Go download it as my gift to you. I think it'll really help you out, especially as you're working through this series. And then you have it as a reference point. Anytime you're making music in your home studio, you don't have to come back and watch a bunch of videos. You can just pull up the document on your phone, or if you're old school like me, you can print it out, have it on your desk or by your computer, and you'll know what to do first, what to do second, and a bunch of tips and tricks along the way. So check it out at RadioReadyGuide.com. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video.